Hi guys, how you doing? As you can see, we're finally on with the fertilizer. It's, it's a little bit wet in places, but we're not sinking in much. It's just a bit of a few puddles on the top. Uh, I've just done the first two fields. I'm going in the last one now. Uh, I need to change the rate slightly, make it work out. So we're putting the we're putting sulfur. Uh, like nitrogen with sulfur on first and it's going on at 290 kilos a hectare which sounds like a lot but it's only I think it's only 26% sulfur and 26% uh, nitrogen I think it makes 30% sulfur so it only works out at about 70 kilos 75 kilos a hectare of actual nitrogen which is all right for the, for the first dose on it so to start this all I'll do is put the PDO in uh, pull the head headland thing down and then press start and then it, it does the rest you can probably see on the camera this headland doesn't look particularly well. It's better when we get in the field, but it's, it's been it's been eaten a bit by the pigeons. We tried to keep them off, but it's like the furthest field away, so it's obviously the one the pigeons know we're not at the most. Right, so we just got filled up there. This uh, this will finish the oilseed rape and the sulphur for now, because um. We've still got sulfur to do on the spring barley and spring oats, but obviously we haven't got those drilled yet, so that will not be going on until about April, April sometime. Uh, it's just the 1st of March now, so plenty of time for that. So after we get this finished, we're going to go back to the farm and uh, put some straight urea in. And we're going to put a little bit as a, a wheat. We've got one wheat field down this farm, and uh, it's it should have been subsoil, but we didn't have time, so we just sort of we just drilled it, and it's it hasn't fared very well in the wet. So we're going to put a little bit on there, and there's a little bit to do on another field at the other farm because it suffered a bit. Because the, the rest of the wheat's all right, we'll not be doing those for another week. Uh, but after we get those done, we're going to be doing the two barley fields up at the other farm. And uh, that'll be our lot finished, and I'm going to do a little bit for uh, someone after, well, tomorrow.
from the drone shots this all looked brown from the drone it didn't look very good but when you're down here you can see it obviously it's all in between the rows I think I think it'll be a good crop I think it's the first year in a while we've done some um, we've done six row stuff but I think it'll it'll work out well so it's looking good anyway hopefully you can see the screen we're just coming into like the butts of the shorts I'll show you the you'll see beneath where the spinner is there'll be little black bars appear and that's where the sectional control comes on and so it should go right and left spreading there right so we got finished on this really proud wheat down here it's, uh, it's got a lot of drain issues and it should have been subsoiled really but we'll learn we'll, uh, it's going in with spring beans no not spring spring barley next year so when it's uh, stubble in uh, like over the next, like this winter coming up, we'll um, we'll get the digger in and see what the drains are like. But we had a digger, digger drains in here, I think a couple of years ago, and it was it was fairly clean. Yeah, the, the pipe, the pipes were fairly clean. So whether it is just compaction or whether the drains have gone bad, because one of the other things is right along the bottom of this field is to put a new sewage pipe in for uh, some new houses put next door so whether those drains haven't been connected up right and it's caused that I don't know but we'll find out when we get a dig so we're going to head up near the farm now and do the urea up there so this is the wheat up at the other farm and as you can see it is quite a bit better than the stuff down down the other farm but uh, it has got a few thinner patches down here where it's where it's been wet, and it's it's a little bit behind. Like so, there's a there's two wheat fields over there, and this one up here, and they're all like even. They're all really good. So I've not put many videos up recently uh, due to just well, I haven't been doing much. I've set some lamb and pens up. We've done a bit of fencing, we've got most of fencing done, which uh, I don't think most of you would really want to watch me knocking staples into a post. So we're just coming to the end here. We've got 40 kilos left, but it's because the headland's not drilled, the two sides of the headland aren't drilled on this, so I wasn't, I wasn't 100% sure how much area was to do in this field so, so yeah we're gonna head back down the other farm and get it washed off a bit um, ready for tomorrow and uh, yeah I'll make that do so thanks for watching and we will see you later